What is going on guys, it's me Randall465 coming at you today with a simple Grand Theft Auto 5 online multiplayer money glitch. Um, so yeah, this is very straightforward and I'm going to try and keep it nice and simple for you guys to understand loud and clear. Um, so, first off, to start off this tutorial, you want to own an apartment up in Rockford Hills, you know, the top house and like, probably one of the most expensive, it's like 400 grand. Um, so yeah, right here, you want to own one of them apartments. Um, so next, you just want to have a random car, it, it can't be your own and it can't be a Pegasus or anything like that. So just steal a car and drive it today, make sure it's not that important. So next, you just want to drive down the road, you want to get your phone out and you want to go to Pegasus. Anywhere, just simply away from your house. Now I don't know why, but it has to be done this way, otherwise it Hello, seems to Hello, this is Pegasus Lifestyle up. Management, how can um, I help? So next, anyway, you're going to have the choice to choose your car. I recommend you, over in the stretch as it spawns literally just up the road from the house. And it's going to make life a hell of a lot quicker for us guys to, you know, do what we want to do. So, you just want to go pick up your stretch limo. So, mine's just up here, same as yours. Yours will be there if you also chose stretch. So, we're going to go get in the stretch. And then we're going to have to drive all the way back home. Um, so, I'm going to turn off the radio. And it's obviously copyright reasons, even though I'm partnered. Um, so yeah, you just want to drive back now to where your garage is. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, if you take note of my money, I have zero cash in hand, but I have 183,177 pound dollars. Sorry, in the bank. Um, so that's that's going to play a huge part in what you guys are about to see. Um, so next, you just want to simply wedge wedge the limo on the left hand side of the garage so literally right here and then you just want to push Y to get out and what this is going to do is going to glitch you into your garage already and the garage door will not open in the bottom right of your screen you will see the number plate glitching through as you can see right there so next step is to choose the car you want to duplicate now I don't recommend using the adder as I've tried it a few times and it hasn't worked so we're gonna go ahead and use one of these new business update cars we're gonna use the Jester now this is a very very beautiful car don't get me wrong this is lovely so you just want to drive it out your garage as normal now you're only gonna hear the garage open you're not gonna see your car coming out or anything you're just gonna spawn you're gonna get exactly what I get if you have done this correctly so far if you see your car coming out the garage you've done it wrong and it will not work so once you come out your garage anyway you will be spawned just down the road so all you want to do is get your phone up, you want to go to Peg, no, not, not Pegasus, you want to go to Moore, Moore's Mutual Insurance, so right here. Morse Mutual. And there you go, now as you can see our Jester has now apparently been destroyed, but it's not because we're in it, so I you just want to pay the 3000 so our money's now dropped to $180, $177. Um, so now you've done that. Now you just simply want to go ahead and drive to your nearest mod shop. So there's literally one just around the corner from your house. So you haven't got to travel that far. It's just a straight drive and then take one of your rights. Any one really. Just get to your mod shop. Now don't damage your car along the way because it's going to obviously penalise how much you actually earn. So I recommend driving sensible because it's just literally around the corner. Um, so we're going to keep going down and then we're going to take this right. Now, once you're at the mod shop, do not drive in. Do not. So, if you've already drove in, you're an idiot because you need to listen to the tutorial. Um, but yeah, so once you're here anyway, you just want to simply pull up your phone again, and this time you want to go to the internet. Now, once you're on the internet, you want to go to the travel and transport. You want to go all the way down to the southern San Andreas Superautos.com. You want to click into that, and now you want to find the car called the Karen Rebel. It's three thousand pound. So yeah, make sure you've got a bit of money on you beforehand. So you just want to go ahead and purchase this. Any colour, pick a colour, it doesn't matter. So you want to go ahead and click buy. So you want to if you need to replace a car, you need to replace a car. I'm going to replace exactly the same car. So there we go. So now we purchased that. So what you want to do now is you want to go ahead and you want to ring your mechanic. And you want to get the mechanic to uh, deliver your rebel to you. Um, you need something, huh? So we're gonna Let get him to bring it. Now, still do not you. drive into that garage until you see this vehicle appear on your map. Now, normally it spawns down there to the right, just a little bit, uh, but this time it's spawned there behind us. So it is in fact up there, as you can see on the map. 
Um, so now you just want to simply drive in the garage. So this is where the fun begins, guys. So once you're in the garage, if you haven't got no damage, then you won't need to repair it. So that way you can just hit sell. You're gonna go 128,000. So I'll take that. That's that's good. So now it's gonna kick you out of the garage with no car. You guys are gonna love this, right? Now you're gonna want to run all the way back up. Now look at the money, 177, uh, and then another 177 dollars, uh, and then we got 128,000 cash in hand. Uh, sorry about that. I got your cups. Um, so yeah, your car will still be there. Now, you, now I'm gonna show you that I still got this car, guys. So you want to drive all the way back to your house. Let's turn that awful fucking head banging music off. Um, so we're gonna go this way and up the next hill. So now we're gonna go all the way up here. Now, like I say, guys, I really appreciate you leaving a like right now. Um, it doesn't take two seconds of your time. Also, go check out my other videos. Um, I've, my channel's mixed content for you guys to enjoy it. So we're gonna simply drive through. Now you can see the stretch is gone. The stretch limo has disappeared. Right, so once you drive in, ready? So, you know, you guys know what car we just sold, don't you? We sold the Jester. Look what's sitting right there, guys. There is the Jester, and it's back to stay. Now, the only downside to this glitch is you do have to wait, obviously, the time for the mechanic to drop off another car. Disappointing, I know, but it's totally worth the five-minute wait to earn a quick bit of money. You can go ahead and try that adder, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. I apologize if you go ahead and sell it, but that's not my problem. That's yours, and you haven't done the glitch right, and then you lose it for good. That's not my fault. Um, so yeah guys, make sure you leave a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, uh, make sure you go check out all my other videos. Also follow me on Twitter, there's going to be a lot more glitches and tutorials coming up real soon. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, other than that it's me Randall465 and I'm out. Adios, and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.